All right, guys, today we are getting into refined storage. Oh, yeah. And we're also doing some stuff with the digital miners. I think you'll enjoy. Boop. Hello, people. Ah, you Sorry, some of the, the, the hemp fiber got into my nose. But hey, everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to Valhelsia 3. With, oh, that's the wrong button. With your buddy, Super Turtle. Guys, today, I did some work. I did some work on our on our area here. I got rid of all of the, the, blue, the blue stuff. Uh, I also tried to do this here. The blue door kind of threw everything off. So I made a metal door. It's pretty metal. It's heavy metal, you know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, went ahead and fixed it up in here. Uh, brought this out another few. Uh, added some more support beams in here to kind of make everything look better. Uh, yeah, also went ahead and adjusted our digital miner again. It already finished, uh, but it mined up the remaining top layer of everything. So we were able to get a few more ores. Uh, obviously, we're just going to get more iron and like coal. I uh, weren't able to get anything else. So very cool. Anyways, guys, uh, with all that aside, let's go ahead and get into the meat of this episode, which is going to be refined storage. I forgot to grab the silicone. It was supposed to be all done. I forgot to do it. Anyway, as you can see, we have all the stuff that we need to go ahead and make those processor bindings. We've even got a bit of the quartz, quartz enriched iron, which is very, very neato. And it is a beautiful afternoon sunset. Sunset, that's the word. Uh, so let's go ahead here and we're going to we're going to be making the refined storage stuff. Now, we're going to need to start off a refined storage with the brain, which is the controller here. Let's go ahead. That's from last episode. We can go ahead and get rid of those. So we're going to need a controller, a disk drive, uh, and then we're going to need disks to put in. Uh, we can get these. That's a 64K. We're going to be starting off probably with 4Ks today. That's the goal. Just get a bunch of 4Ks made up. So we're going to have the one and the 4K storage part. Now, this just holds 4,000 different items or 4,000 items in each of them. And then we're going to need to make some cables. You'll see why. And then we are going to be making a crafting grid. So these are the items we're going to be striving to make today. Now we need to start off by making some of this. So we're going to basically throw all of this into our inventory here. Very neato. And we're going to be starting off by making quite a few of these. Um... I'm going to make a total of 16 of these. I don't know if we're going to need uh, 17. Just kidding. I don't know if we'll need any more, but we can go ahead and get these smelting up right away. Uh, we're also just going to go ahead and actually probably just make a bunch of them. Um, the different ones. Yep, we'll do all of those. And we will do a stack of these. Okay, so we can get these guys smelting up while we're chatting here. Probably should have had some already in there. But don't at me. Okay? Don't at me. So cool. We have those made up. Um, let's see here. The machine casing is going to require some cobblestone, I do believe. So let's go ahead and get some of that going. Oh, it's smooth stone. JK. All right. I don't know how many of these we're going to make, so we're going to make... Our, I don't know how many of these we're going to need, so we're just going to make two of them just in case we need it for something else, which we do. So we're going to make a few more. Make a total of six. Call it tomatoes. Cool beans. So these should be done -ski. Yeah. Go ahead. There's the brain to our system here. Now we're just going to set up a temporary system here. We're going to get everything working because we also need to run power to here. So we're probably just going to run power over and back. All right, guys. So it turns out that our main feed coming in from the windmills up top actually ran right behind the chest. Like it's a, it's like two or three blocks away. So I just ran power up through there. You can see the power cable back behind. That was very, very bad. You can see the power cable behind there. Pretty neato. So later on, we will be moving that over. Oh, cool. Most of these have been done smelting. Okay. So, um, yes, we do need... We do need... Uh, no. Did I really smelt up all of my quartz? I thought I needed silicon. Okay, so I accidentally used all the quartz that I had on that one thing. So let's go ahead here and make up the two extra... The, the two extra guys that we'll need. Uh, we will need a little bit of glass, too. Now, I should have a bunch of glass somewhere. Yes. Cool. Um, what do we not need in this right now? We don't need soul sand. Oh, wait. They didn't do anything. Okay. So, let's go ahead here. We're going to make a grid. Perfect. 
And then to make the crafting grid, we just need a crafting table as well. Very, very neato. Uh, this is getting old. I'm so glad that we're switching this episode. Okay, now we have everything we need to go ahead and make the crafting grid. Bam. So this will probably just go here, like on top. When everything's powered up, we'll see it. So now, go ahead and get rid of the grid, the crafting grid, and the controller. We're going to need to get a disk drive going. Going to make two of these. We are missing... missing. Put a T in there, missing. We are missing it. Get misted, fool. Um... Yes. Let's make some chesticles. Oops, that's not right. All right, so we got the chests. We might have a little too many. Uh, we're going to make two of these. Bam, a lamb. All right, so that will all be good to go. Um... We actually need to run some temporary power over to here so we can go ahead. I didn't actually want for that to happen. Okay, just take this power source over here. Connect it up. Everything's on now. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we need to go ahead and make some 1K storage parts real quick can make 10 of them. How about some 4Ks? We can make three. Okay, and then the use is here. Um, yep, we got one of these. Cool. So we have our first 4K drive in, and we can go ahead and start putting items in as well. Very cool. Now, let's see here. Can we make four more? No, but what about using these? We need glass. Am I out of glass? No. Glass is in here. Oops, okay. Now we got the storage housing. Okay, so now we have a total of 12,000 items that can be stored here. Um, wait, can we uncraft these to get the storage part back? Okay, it probably would have been a lot or easier just to combine those up into a 16K and get an extra f couple K. <laughs> but, uh, you know, <sighs> made that mistake. Okay, so we got another two. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing redstone. Okay, combine this with the housing real quick. And we got one more 4K. So, okay, so we have a total of 16K full of drive things. And what I'm going to do is just do this. How are we looking? 3K. You're the next to break. All right, so I'm going to keep doing this for a bit, guys. We're going to get all of our items converted over to digital. And I will come back to you when that's all done. All right, guys. So check it out. We went ahead and removed our temporary storage setup over here. Everything is looking just amazing. I'm so happy that we were able to do this. Oh, digital storage, guys. It's it's just next level. Everything is here that we need. Just, uh, just need a torch. Everything's back to looking good again. Oh, yeah. And everything that we own is condensed into these drives. <laughs> that is crazy to think about. Holy heck. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get all the cobblestone out of the system here. We don't need that clogging everything up. We have this here. Okay, so now we're going to be working on... Get, oops, I need to go back to refined storage. We need to get an external... Uh, let's see here. External storage guy. This guy here. Yes. What do we need? We need some cable. Like I was talking about. Need... Are you... What? We used all 64. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. I was like, what? Okay, that one's good. And that one is good. Now, if we combine that together. External storage. Perfect. Now, we're going to need to get some 
drawer controllers. We're going to get one of these. Should have everything. Yes, we do. Now we need to make some oak trim. This stuff here. Uh, yeah, we can convert it. Now this. We actually don't need these anymore either. That's something I totally forgot about. All right, so the oak trim is going to help us a lot. So we're going to break these two down. The oak trim will connect these two, um, two drawer bays, I guess you could call them, together so that we can put one drawer controller onto it. So we're going to put the drawer controller here, put the trim, trim, bam, like this. And as you can see, all of the items that we have over here now are, are showing up here. So we have our, our redstone, we have our lapis, we have all of that. And the thing I wanna do before we get too far away from the middle, like the beginning ground of this is set up a good drawer, uh, compacting drawer thing for like our diamonds, all of that. So everything is available in um, their multiple states. So like the compacting drawers, you can only say, I'll, I'll show you guys. We take all, we'll take some redstone out of here. If we put redstone into here, it will give us redstone blocks and that we can pull this out, put it in, do all of that. Um, it'll automatically convert it all for us. It's, it's a very amazing system and I love it. So we're gonna need to set this up somewhere, uh, but we do need to go ahead and make some more of these. We'll just make as many as we can. Okay, we're gonna need to make a drawer. Um, I think I'm out of wood. <laughs> Unless, oh, we are, we is out of wood. Okay, so we're going to be storing all of our things. We're, we've moved the furnaces. We're going to move them to a different area for our, probably down here, uh, for our, make some more elite smelting factories for things that we need to smelt up. But for now, we're going to be uh, just putting these guys here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take all of the lapis out of our system here. Uh, yes, we still have a, a little bit left over. And we're going to convert this over. As you can see, it's there. It also will take items out of here. We're also going to do this for redstone. Got a lot of it. All right, redstone is here, perfect. What about some coal? Do we have any coal? Coal train. We have 1.6 thousand coal. Where did you come from? Okay, um. All right, so guys, I have uh, been making some progress here and I didn't realize that it was uh, off camera, I uh, just been watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and I was like, "Oh, it's pretty good." And I just got into a mode where I started just building things. I even got a like a 64k drive here. We got two of them, 16k here, a bunch of 4k. So look at that, we have 164. So we're we're pretty much good on storage for a bit. Uh, but I've done a few other things. If we look over here, I set up the digital miner over here. Sorry guys, I got into kind of a mode, and the mode was just to go go go. So yeah, uh, we got. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we have quite a bit of items. I have actually set up a system to pump this into our, our our refined storage system as we can see here Unfortunately, it's not very fast and it's a little bulky. I've been working down here as well We're gonna clear this area out and have an auto crafting area, uh, but we have this quantum entangle open order and uh, Yeah, so this is basically a tesseract if you guys remember back way when when those were a big thing uh, so you can transfer items, power, fluids, gases, infused types, I don't know what that is, heat, uh, slurries, all of that through this one block here. Uh, it holds power, as you can see up in the top. We have all we have almost a million FE stored. Uh, and I also have a second um, a second dude running in the nether, getting us some nether quartz. Oh look at hello, Mr. Gast. You gonna fight me? So yeah, as you can see, he's over here, just chilling. How's oh, a skeleton? Really? This is your idea? I 
I didn't know what that was for a second. That's it. You're dead. What? You survived? He's so tiny. Okay, now that I'm almost dead. Check it out. So we have this thing here. Uh, it's doing silk touch so we can go ahead and fortune the the uh, the nether quartz when it comes through. Um, got it set to auto eject here. Uh, and this is uh, giving everything power, as you can see, input here for the items, and then power is export. So this thing is also uh, chunk loaded, as you can see, anchor here keeps the machine loaded. So this thing is feeding uh, our guy over there with all the items. All right, so that leaves us with what I was doing just before I realized I should really be in or showing you guys what I'm doing. Uh, so as you can see, I have to go around the other side here because this guy's kind of in the way. Um, so yeah, what I've been, what I was doing here is we were making some speed upgrades uh, for our guy, and I was in the process of making the sugar, and was like, hey, you know, so these peeps might want to know what I'm doing, so that's what we're doing. All right, okay, so we made a total of four. That's okay. I wanted to get a stack upgrade in there, but this will suffice. Go ahead and put these here, and so if we check quartz, yeah, look at that. It's already piling in. This is as fast as the other one is, and so what we can also go ahead and do, whoops, ew, uh, we can go over to our quarry. All right, we're here at the quarry. Uh, we can go ahead and we can switch this up so that this, oh, shoot, I didn't bring all the cables. All right, so we need the advanced universal cables. We probably won't need those, but we definitely need these guys because they're not close. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep real quick. All right, let's get over to the quarry. It's a pretty neat. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's using power. We, we, we don't have it set up right right now. All right, so this thing doesn't get any power, so we will go ahead and we'll just place this bad boy here. This is for the turtle power. And then um, items will be input on all sides. And then power will be output on all sides, auto eject on. Okay, so power's getting through here. Yep. All right. This is going to be fun. Lag. Ready? Just kidding. No lag. Got 60, 6,900 mo blocks. Oh. Hey, it's working. Might have a faster cable, but it's it's keeping up. Okay, so those are going into our ME system here. Um, hmm. Obviously, we're gonna take the iron, take the lapis, the redstone. Gonna leave that. All right, so we should see the ores coming in. Yep, okay, so the ores are definitely coming in now. It's looking great. Um, if we go here, grab this guy. Yeah. Sorry, guys, my microphone settings seem to have gotten kind of all jambled around so if i seem really loud in these clips i'm sorry i'm still working those out uh but let's go ahead and go back over there now that we have that cool handy dandy tool and what we can do is we can connect this up and then we can set this I don't know if that helps at all, but we're going to test it out. We're going to give it a wee try. 
All right, guys, so I just ended up moving it up here to the very top. I think it's actually, it might look better too. And plus it gives everything that we need right here. It connects, uh, this is basically our wireless power. That's where we get everything. Uh, if we come up here, this has been my little access hatch for the stuff up here. But if we come over here, you can see the power cables are running up over and then to the top. And then the uh, the input here for our items is going into here. The cool thing is, is this leaves us a, uh, a pathway to run some cables down over to our a uh, new system over there and check it out. We are getting a heck ton of quartz. Look at that. All right, 25. That's beautiful. So I'll go ahead and make some more of this stuff up here. And the reason I wanted to go ahead and get the, the quartz going is so that we can start making some, uh, start automating, sorry, the silicone process here. Uh, so that's the whole reason for that. Um, Okay, I just want to make sure that that was going back up. It was. Holy heck, Batman, that's moving. Um, so I did want to go ahead and upgrade the cables for that. Um, if we go here for the recipe and then for this. We're just going to do a full stack uses. We will upgrade the full stack uses, upgrade the full stack. Okay. So these guys actually need to get an upgrade. Look at that, full stack. So these should be, these are the fastest cables we can possibly get for our core here. <laughs> Look at that. Tum, 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 tum. That is moving. How are you still in here? There we go, okay. So this is acting a little buggy. So we'll go ahead, get all these into our ME system. We have more than enough. Yeah, very cool. So these will all get put over there. They're all chunk loaded. How's this guy doing? 6,600 blocks left. Very cool. All right, guys. So that is going to wrap up the episode for today. As you can see, I'm rocking a new skin here. For the first time in like five years, I have changed my Minecraft skin. We now have this derpy face here. I think it matches my logo a lot more. Uh, so we've gone ahead and switched over to this. And I also did some stuff like to the, the bottom. Of, you can't see it, but uh, actually you can if I take all this off. So we're rocking Optifine. Um, but if you look under there, you can see I actually have a cape built in. So people who don't have Optifine can actually still see a cape. Uh, it doesn't look that bad when you know, I'm, I'm walking around here. So it looks like I have the cape on. Uh, but for people who aren't using Optifine, they're getting that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle. And I'll see you all in the next Valhalla 3 episode, guys. Take care. Brush your hair. Bye-bye.